about something? Because I'll finish it. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. Because I'm coming after you. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? I'm gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. Oh, I will, I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. Maybe it isn't the best idea to antagonize Mathis any further. It may end up slowing our mission down the line. Now get the hell out of me way! Call me Bob. Welcome to the last snow, where the drinks are never free. Got it back in my experimental days. Before we fixed up Nova, she was a real boggy mess, practically an indoor swamp. I figured some of what's grown around here could make some decent booze. And some might say I only got the booze part right. Guilty? You name it, I got it. Although, I can't speak to quality. We don't believe in expiration dates here as long as it gets the job done. As long as you're buying, stay as long as you like. And the last Nova never sleeps, so no last call here. Since it's your first time with us, I'm willing to make an exception to the rule and offer you my speciality on the house. One free bottle of Bog's Grog. That's the spirit. I knew you'd be the adventurous type. And if you like it, 
You're in luck. Cheapest drink you can find. And guaranteed to drown those sorrows. Now that's a train secret, mate. And a homegrown one in that. But nothing to worry about. I've been serving it up going on 20 years now. Only things that kill my customers are bullets and stupidity. Nova wasn't always the loveliest sight you see before you, but she used to be a hydro fighter and put a quiet fight when we decided to give her a makeover. Overgrown water everywhere. I almost gave up, but what's a proper home without a pub, eh? Bog's Grog and anything else your heart? I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Roll call's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event. They're gonna give away something called Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those gal bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want, but if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Unless you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Good luck. We should remain silent about my background with the United Colonies. Always listen to Delgado. I don't know about you, but...
I have things for you. Anything I... anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always fine. Kiosk, right? I'm sure you can find something you like. Sure, how about it? I'm sure you can find something you like. All right, let's get this crate into space. Did you need something? So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Brooke. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Excuse me, Commander. Did you say Crix's legacy? Please tell me you aren't seriously going to give that any credence. Everyone knows that's just a... I don't know, a myth? I'm holding tangible confirmation of the word legacy attached to Crix's name. That's too much of a coincidence to attribute to myth. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. 
If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Do what Commander Ikande says and we'll go far. You boarded the key. I can't imagine what state the pirates have left. Or did you still need time on your own? Talk to you later. <laughs>